Sony has long been a leader in the mirrorless camera market, continually pushing the limits in both full-frame and APS-C formats. The A6000 series has been a staple of Sony's APS-C lineup, offering photographers a compact yet powerful tool for capturing stunning images and videos. Now, with the rumored Sony A6900, Sony appears ready to take things to the next level, potentially challenging competitors like Fujifilm, which has excelled in the high-end APS-C market. So, without further ado, let's dive into the video to explore more about the Sony A6900. The Sony A6900's design is rumored to be inspired by the full-frame A7C, suggesting a compact, travel-friendly body compared to traditional DSLR-style mirrorless cameras. This approach could appeal to vloggers and content creators who need a powerful yet lightweight camera. The inclusion of a fully articulating screen supports this, making it easier to frame shots from various angles and film oneself while recording. Ergonomically, the A6000 is expected to feature an improved grip design, addressing a common criticism of earlier A6000 models. This improvement could make the camera more comfortable to hold, especially during extended use or when paired with larger lenses. Additionally, the body may house dual memory card slots for both SD and CFX Press Type A cards, providing professionals with flexibility and security. The Sony A6000 is rumored to feature a 42 megapixel APS-C Exmor R sensor, a significant upgrade from the 24 megapixel sensors in previous models. This high resolution sensor could put the A6900 in direct competition with cameras like the Fujifilm X-T4 and X-H2, offering excellent detail and cropping flexibility. Powered by Sony's latest Bion's XR processor and an AI intelligence chip, the A6900 is expected to deliver enhanced real-time tracking and subject recognition, making it versatile for capturing people, animals, vehicles, and even insects. The autofocus system, with 759 phase detection points and customizable focus sizes, could offer unparalleled speed and precision in the APS-C market. For action photographers, the A6900 is rumored to offer continuous shooting speeds of up to 11 frames per second with full autofocus and auto exposure. Paired with rumored buffer improvements, this could make the A6900 a strong contender for sports and wildlife photography. The A6900's video capabilities are expected to be impressive, with rumors of full pixel readout 8K video at 30 frames per second and 4K at 60 frames per second. For slow motion enthusiasts, there's talk of 4K slash 120p with a slight crop. If true, these features would position the A6900 as one of the best video cameras in its class, potentially rivaling even full-frame models. The camera is also expected to feature in-body image stabilization, IBIS, with up to eight stops of shake reduction, ideal for handheld shooting in low light or when using long lenses. The electronic viewfinder may feature a high-resolution 3.69 million dot OLED panel for a crisp, responsive view of the scene. For creative shooters, the A6900 could include a pixel shift multi-shot function, which would allow for ultra-high resolution images in static scenes. This feature, combined with the high resolution sensor, could produce images with detail rivaling that of medium format cameras. While the exact release date remains uncertain, industry insiders suggest the A6900 could be announced as early as next year. Pricing speculation places the A6900 in the range of 1,800 to 2,000 USD, similar to or slightly higher than the Sony A7C, reflecting its advanced features. The rumored Sony A6900 has the potential to revolutionize the APS-C market with its high-resolution sensor, advanced autofocus, impressive video features, and compact design. However, since these are still rumors, it's wise to remain cautious. 
the A6900 success will also depend on Sony's commitment to expanding its APS-C lens lineup, although third-party lenses like Viltrox's F1.2 Pro series suggest strong support for high-resolution APS-C sensors. The Sony A6900 represents an exciting step forward, potentially blurring the lines between crop sensor and full-frame cameras. Thanks for watching.